everybody, it's Cheryl with Lead Off Leash Canine Training and today I'm doing Place Part 2. Hopefully by now you've seen my other video, Place Part 1, and got the basics. And in Part 2, we will just do a little review of Part 1, just for a few minutes. And then we will be adding two beds, just to give her more challenges. And also I want her to do a down every time she gets on place. So in the beginning you'll see me marking the getting on the place, which is with the yes. And eventually I will stop marking getting on the place and start marking when she gets in the down. Because that's what we want our dogs to do when they get on a place. We want them to get on the place or the bed or the mat and just go down and it's a signal just to chill out until I tell you to release. So today I'm going to be using the slip lead and I will show you how to do it with an e-collar, but definitely know that you need to spend some time and be trained on an e-collar before you just put it on your dog. Um, it is a nice tool to use if you're out downtown where there's higher distractions and you want them to get on place and stay on place. It's a nice way to do that. And again, Morgan's working for her breakfast. I do this morning and night with dogs um, so they can earn their treats and don't have to get too many extra treats and get chubby. Okay, release. Review. Morgan's place. Yes. Release. Place. Yes. Oh, extra yes. Good girl. Release. Hold your place. Yes. So she's starting to want to go down, so I'm just going to go right to the down. I'm going to stop marking the yes for getting on place, but I'm going to mark now the down. Let's go. Release. Place, down, yes, good girl. I didn't have to use the leash, but I was setting myself up to use it. If you don't know how to teach your dog down, check out my other video, down, release. She hasn't learned this bit, and you can see her working on it. So this would be like your dog who's new to this command, and you've done the place commands in the part one video for a few days. Pick up the leaf, doesn't mean she's going. Release. Place. Down. Yes. Nope. A verbal nope and a little body pressure. Got her to stay on the bed and the second time she said N O P D got her to stay on the place. So you can do this while you're having your coffee outside or sitting at the computer, practice it in the house. Work up to 20, 30 minutes. Release. Place. Down. Yes. Good girl. Good. Good. I use the word good as a way to hold her in the place. I did reward her with the yes, but now I'm just saying good. Working for some eye 
contact. Really? Fight. Down. Yeah, good girl. So I chose to drop the leash because it's fast learner. But I'm going to leave it on her in case I need to correct her to show her what I want. Place. Down. Yes. Good. Yep. Good girl. Good girl. Really? Four good places. Down. Down. Yes. Girl. I'm a big proponent of showing them what you want them to do, but also telling them what you don't want them to do, which is why I use the word no. When she starts to do something I don't want her to do, which is get off the bed. Release. Shall I say? Place. Down. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Nope. Yeah. Good girl. Mm -hmm. That's a good girl. I like the way she flipped her head and not sit up and I walked around her. Nope. At first, I'm moving away from her more slowly because I don't want my action to trigger her to get up. I'm trying to give her some seconds. Nope. You can see when I try to walk around her, she wants to get up. So this is how I would challenge her, in particular, working on going around her slowly without her getting up. Hopefully she'll just switch her head. Nope. So probably a little early for that maybe, but I'm into challenging dogs. Morgan Place. Yes. Down. Yes. Good girl. Now that time I chose to mark the place because I was beyond the bed and I didn't want her to keep going. So it's just reinforcing. Good girl. Release. Place. Down. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Again, that walking around her is challenging, so that would be my next step with her. Release. Place. Down. Yes, what a good girl. So, 
if you want to try the e-collar, let me show you how that's done. I'm going to leave the long line on. So if I need to guide her with the pressure of the physical leash, I can do that. She has been on the e-collar for heel as well as her recall. She's definitely understanding that the stimulation from the e-collar gets turned off when she does what I'm asking her to do. And I found her working level inside low level is a six. So we'll start on a six. And I have food reward, so the food's more powerful right now in this scenario than this. But we're gonna do both together. So I will release her and then I'll say a place and I'll keep holding the button and I'll say down until she's down. And it'll get released when her belly and her chest hits the bed. Release. Place. Down. Yes, good girl. Good girl. And remember, when my arm goes up, it's indicating to you when I've put the pressure on with the e-collar. When my arm comes down, it's when I've released it. So it goes on when I say the command. It comes down when I say yes. Release. Release. Morgan, place. Down. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Her breakfast is almost gone. Morgan, release. Morgan, place. Down. Yes, good. Good girl. And my suggestion is when you use the e-collar to use it every time, not half the time to see if she gets it, but every time for the first few months. Release. Morgan, place. Down. Down. Yes, good girl. I don't know if you noticed, she's a little distracted by that loud noise. So I repressed it when I said down, and then she went down. So that's, you could dial up if it were a big distraction. Release. Morgan, place. Down. Yes, the girl. Release. Release, Morgan. Morgan, place. Down. Yes, the girl. So now, take your dog to town. Challenge your dog on the bike path. Challenge your dog at the restaurants and the coffee shops. And if you have any questions, send me an email. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Cheryl with Lead Off Leash Canine Training. Have a great day. you're out and about, you can practice this with your dog for place. Tioga, come. Come. Good boy. Tioga. Tioga, place. Place. Yes. Nope. Hey. Place. Yes. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Tiger, release. Come. Tioga, place. Good. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Tiger, release. Come. Tiger, up. Place. No. Come here. Place. Good. Release. Let's go. Let's go. Over here. Tioga, place. Yes. Good dog. Tioga. Down. Good. Good boy. So these are all things you can do when you're out walking. You find a place when your dog is well trained from this is what they can do.
Tiger release, come. Place, yes. Can you sit? Good boy, good boy. Release, come. Tayoga, come. Boop, boop. How about over here? Let's try a new one. Tayoga, place. Hey. Place, no. Tayoga, no. Place. Yes, good dog. You're a good dog. Release. How about one last one? Tayoga, come. Here we go. Tayoga, up. Place. Good. place. Oh. No. Good boy, Tayoga. Good boy.